Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Army Girl Budgets. In today's video, we'll be setting up our monthly overview as well as our paycheck one of September breakdown. If you guys are interested in seeing that, stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back and we're gonna get into our September's um, overview. So I'm not gonna talk through this because I've explained this a thousand times. I'm just gonna fast forward myself going through writing all this information in okay um just chillax watch <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so I filled out our monthly view in here. Um, you will see that basically all the bills in different times we pay them. I um, pay my bills um, twice a month. So like my rent is split in half. My car insurance is split in half. I'm sorry, y'all. My dog is scratching and all that stuff. So that's what you see. The paydays you see here are both me and my husband's pay <laughs> and um, both me and my husband's pay and then you'll see our rental income from our property and it is supposed to go on the market on the 5th um, hopefully we get it sold quick hopefully let's everybody say a little prayer um, because I am just I'm over being a um, landlord I don't I don't want to do it anymore son you okay? Sorry, y'all. He just is scratching. We have to keep the bells on him since he's so little. Okay. Um, 
And I'm going to insert a picture right here of him so y'all can see what he looks like. Because I talked to him and y'all don't know what he looked like. But that's it for the monthly view. Let's go ahead and move on into the budget. So this is for the first of the month here. All right. So income. Uh, you're, you're not taking that off, son. Stop it, okay? Go find something to play with. Hold on one second, guys. Let me get my son to get him. Take 300. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then um, the next thing you'll see is 84.01 uh, and 48 cents. And then housing, you're going to see $4,081.68. And that is because I have a month's worth of rent and my mortgage already set aside in an account. So I'm just rolling that in and then I'm gonna pay it. And then I basically just like, it's like a big old circle. I pay it with the money that's in here and then I take the money that I receive on my paychecks and I put it back. And that's, I mean, honestly, it's a easy way of doing things if you have the opportunity to save for a month ahead of, whatever so I have a month ahead that I have fully been able to I got fully funded already and then I have this account that has just my rent and my um, mortgage in there for the month if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but I have two separate accounts one that's in a high yield savings that just has all of my bills basically everything in there and then or whatever I need for it to live for at least one month and then this is just what what I pay my bill out of. Like I keep cycling that money in and out. Okay, so we've got 4,300, 84,01,48 plus four, plus 100 is $16,883.16. And the reason why that is so high is because I am due a payment, a back payment. And that is why the number is so high. All right, so um, rent is budgeted at thirteen hundred as always. My mortgage is fifteen oh five as always. Car insurance is going to be two hundred dollars. It's actually one hundred ninety nine dollars and some change, but we're just you know good old round numbers. My braces one twenty five. We only owe three hundred and twenty five dollars left on that. Um, we are almost done. One second, please. <sighs> Sorry, guys. We're back at it again. Um, my dad's insurance is going to be getting two oh three fifteen. Life insurance is fifty eight dollars and ninety three cents. The husband's life insurance is sixty eight dollars and seventy three cents. T Mobile is actually two thirty fifty. And yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about T-Mobile right now. <laughs> VGLI is $60. So VGLI is my life insurance that I was paying for when I was in the military. And because of how um, I got out of the military, I'm able to just pay that same amount. Well, pay the amount that they tell me to pay and keep my insurance, which is amazing. So it's $60. Um, my husband's car note we pay eight fifty no matter what. The internet bill is eighty six dollars and twenty one cents. Our water bill is usually around one fifty. Rooms to go is seventy nine dollars. Hulu is going to be twenty seven dollars and four cents. My cricket is nine ninety nine. Peacock. Um, is 1081 and honestly i wish we could get rid of some of our subscriptions because i think our subscription a month is 110 dollars and some change but my husband he really does watch this stuff like he watches peacock he needs his prime video like he i just let him you know let him do his thing if all he wants is tv then who am i to say no you know so 1081 all right so let's count this up All 
Okay, so that is $4,985.16. We're going to subtract the that from $16,883.16. And I know these <laughs> numbers look crazy, but again, I am due a payment that was not given to me. So I have a double payment here. Um, school lunch is going to be getting $200. Honestly, I don't even have anything to say besides, yeah, that's ridiculous. And then gas is $500 a month along with $600, not $500 a month, $500 for the two weeks. And then $600 for the two weeks for groceries. Honestly, I'm sure. I'm positive that we will go over $600. Um, but I do have a contingency um, bit of money sitting for groceries because we we are a house of people who be eating. That's the best way I can explain it. So um, I'm going to write the totals in and then I'm going to go back and do all of the calculations later. Well, no, let's do it the right way. All right. So we've got 120 plus... 200 plus 500 plus 600 that is $970 yeah is that right that ain't right girl what you doing 600 plus 500 plus 200 plus 120 all right now that's right 1420 and then we're going to take that from 1188 $11,898. That is $10,478. Okay, so um, we decided that, yeah, no time but now to start saving for the inevitable. Um, so there is $1,100 we're going to pay towards student loans, um, $300, and this is covering the month of September's game day meals for my son. Since my son has bad food allergies, I cannot risk um, letting the school or the coaches or whatever bring food for him. So um, we're going to either I'm going to cook him something and bring it to him or um, my husband's gonna go and get him some sort of pasta or whatever for his game day meals before his football games. All right, so sinking funds, I plan on stuffing $1,500 in sinking funds. And then I plan on doing $1,000 in savings. And then I owe my son $200 and that was because he had um, actual cash when I didn't and I needed to pay something um, for I needed to pay something in cash for uh, football. So I took his, well, I didn't take it, but I got $200 from him. Son, stop it. I am so sorry, y'all. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. All right. CJ, um, this is his allowance and the money that I stuffed for him. And then Nia, which is my daughter, they both get $100. Same thing, allowance along with the money that I stuff for them. So let's add these together. Okay. I feel like y'all real close. I never have y'all this close. So it's $4,300 here. That leaves us with $6,178. And in that $6,178, we are going to do $850, which is an extra payment on the car. We are going to get ahead on the 
we are gonna get ahead on the student loans by putting $500 into a sinking fund. And then we're going to put $500 for the pet as well. We have to get all the dogs need um, shots and the puppy, which is the one who makes me keep stopping. He's going to doggy boot camp. So <laughs> we need to stuff some money for him. That is 1850. That leaves us with $4,328. And then we're going to roll over $800. And then the rest is what we're going to put. Well, not the rest, but we'll see. Let's see. Minus $800. So we are going to roll over $3,000. Well, I mean, not roll. We're going to save $3,000. So $3,800. So, where's the 28 minus $3,800. So, we have $528 left over. And that is just to do whatever it is that we want to do with that 500 and something dollars. So, that is going to be the budget for the first paycheck of September. Um, get a good look at it, y'all. It probably will, we probably will never see these types of large numbers <laughs> again but touche we need to do something with these funds so we are doing something that is all for this video i am so sorry about me having to stop and a lot of the editing that this is gonna have to take um again you guys know i have a little puppy who is extremely demanding um he is a little terror but we love him and hopefully this boot camp will help him um, calm him down a whole lot so um again thank you for guys for sitting with me for this uh, video if this is um something that you like go ahead and like the video if you don't like it i understand you can like the video anyway <laughs> um so till next time guys in the next video we'll be doing the cash stuffing we'll probably be doing um maybe some savings challenges and then, you know, stay on the lookout. You might have an additional video here or there. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.